what's up everybody welcome back to another episode today I'm going after some link cod some rockfish it's recently opened up here in New Bay uh, from what I hear it's been pretty good fishing going with my buddy Mike he owns the salt charters I've fished with them before last year Bo and I went uh, same thing rockfish link cod fishing with them I'm here inside Big Salmon Fishing Resort they have everything you need here in New Bay fish any kind of fish Mike my brother here he's got it all set up nice looking good ready for the new season how's fishing been Mike good yeah never been to the thinking board oh thinking board he's got over here bottom fish you don't have to go very far here we are you could do all your bottom fishing from here to over there a mile about three mile, three mile stretch but uh sea bass link god more you go out, better it gets. You just fish all on the shore. Yeah. God's country. A lot of link cod being caught. A lot of link cod. A lot of link cod. Cool. Green bank, spike rock, Duncan rock, tattoo island, uh, Wad Island, Zealand sail. Cool. That's pretty much it. A lot of various size, 10, averaging 10. But there's a whole bunch of little guys. Sea bass are all up west. Yeah, right on. Yeah, so that's it, man. New Bay's popping. Comes to rockfish, link cod. When the other season's open, it'll be popping also. Fishing out here in New Bay is some of the best around. I mean, you can't find better fishing if you ask me. That's why I don't leave here. I just stick around here because I don't need to go anywhere. It's the best fishing around. But yeah, I'll be with Mike today. I got to get my stuff packed up. I think he's heading down, so. I gotta get packed up and get on out of here. We'll see you guys on the water. because the whole Pacific Ocean is trying to filter through this one area on a tide change, so it really rumbles things up in here. It gets it, gets it tossing all over the place. It's tide change. Pacific Ocean. There's Captain Mike back there. We have Marcos. He's going to be fishing with us today. We have Jose over here. He just dropped his line in the water. There's my brother Mike. Yeah. Behind me. We're going to catch some fish. Try to get everybody on some lake cod. It's a little bit rolly, but it ain't too bad at all. How deep are we here? Holy. We're looking for giant lincot is what we're doing. Where are you, Cabazon? Yeah. <laughs> Come to me, Cabazon! Marcos, Marcos told us what Cabazon means. Big head. So I guess you can call me a Cabazon. <laughs> Um, I'm at one Oh, Yeah, and every now and then just let, let out a little bit more line, make sure it's at the bottom. You just want to go off. like this, Marco. Is that big on the bottom? Okay. Okay, see? Alright. Alright, right. 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 right.
Sean, baby. Got one on. Mike's got one. Oh, <laughs> we're doubled up. Doubled up. these spines if you grab one don't want to get poked by these guys all right got a knife to bleed them yeah i was okay i'll get it if you go ahead and get back on okay. here swing your tip this way i did the same thing okay there you go right good now oh that's a good one there oh yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that looked like a good one. Oh! Right away. Oh. Give him the old slow reel trick. Oh, there he is. Yep, he was biting on there. If you feel them tapped on it, just give it a quick little pull up. Here, come grab this one. Oh, it came off. Huh? Oh, it's Double still there. Double up. Bugger, hold him up, boo. Yeah, buddy. We charter harder. Who's this made by? Lever Jake. Yeah, purple. Yep. 
that little water. Swing it this way. Yep. Swing it this way. Cool. Well, we're in some fish. Then just pull straight up, right, Mike? Yep. Yeah, there we go. I've seen these, never moved them, though. I like them. Yeah. If you pull up on the front, and then when you put oh, your pole okay. in there, you just push down. Yeah. And then when you want to get it out, you push down the back of the Oh, okay. Right cool. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Mike's got another flaw. <laughs> Might as well keep the camera on my brother over there. <laughs> Me and Jose, not so much. Hide the damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having fun. I don't want anybody to have fun with my expense. <laughs> What happens with these big worms? He tore it up though. He had it on the reel up. Got one a little bit single one, the original. Sure. Show it off one time. Here's brother's fish. There's the kick so far. Got a couple of nice lings in there. Good cabby, copper. We're catching fish. It's laying down to be a beautiful, beautiful day out here in Nia Bay. Wouldn't you say? That's what the bottom looks like. Kind of drifting around off a of green bank here. Right inside of here is Macaw Bay. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you've seen me catch king salmon right in here. Right off the mouth of the Suez River. Come August, the kings like to school up in here. They kind of circle around through here, waiting to go on the river, waiting for the right conditions. So we, uh, that's where we are. We're right here inside of Macaw Bay, just outside of the gut of Tattoosh Island, where the Straits Juan de Fuca meet the Pacific Ocean. That's a good thing about Nia Bay is you don't have to run very far, about seven, eight miles from port, so it's not that bad of a run. I do it in my 20-foot boat during the summertime. But yeah, we're here with Captain Mike over here, A-Salt Weapon Charters. I'll put his info in here, make sure to book a trip, give, him a, give us a call, Big Salmon, or I'll put Mike's number on here also. So book a trip, man. Great fishing out here. What are you doing over here, Mike? What's your duties at the oh, second I'm just helm here? In and out of gear, man. Keeping them lines straight yep, up and down. Yep, that, is, that way we're not drifting so fast. Yep. If he keeps us more straight up and down, we're not going to snag as much. So, yeah, he's doing his duties there. Good job, Mike. He's getting us on some fish. See, my brother's cheating. He knows what works. He sells all that stuff at the shop, so everybody tells him what works. So he brought his own gear, cheating over there. You on again? <laughs> Not big. Quick head shake, look. Good color. I think I just let him go. He's not big enough. That's not what we're looking for. Nice looking jig in the water. Watch. Looks good. Three. Two. Just let it go down. I always go to the bottom and I'll bring it up quite a bit. Do the slow reel trick. 
fast. Oh, there's a bit on the way down. Oh, it bit on the way down. It did too. I seen that. There. Let me get out of your way. There he is. Oh. There he is. <laughs> Look at this there guy. Look at his mouth when he turns around. See how he. <laughs> which Tongue direction? Right. <laughs> know what he was doing last night? A little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> on the hook. Rubs it on the hook. Yeah, That's yeah, his yeah. trick. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's got him. He's got That's him. A good one. He's oh no! What do you got, Boo? Releaser. Little, little linger again. All right. Enough messing around. They're getting bites. I gotta get in the water. You want to take one? Me and Jose over here, we're just waiting for the big one. Yep. We, these bites we feel aren't big enough, so we're just letting them go, right, let, Jose? Let these kids have a little fun. <laughs> we need to warm up. We don't. We'll go for the big. Yeah, top. no little ones over here. We, we just want the big fish. Oh yeah, it's a bite there. Go and pull up. Yep, you got him. You got him. There he is. Hey, 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 Just keep reeling. Yep, just keep tension on him. Yep, there you go. Could be one of those rock fish. 2.7 pounds. <laughs> I think I lost it. No, it's good. Think a little. You know what? I'm gonna keep that one. Oops. Oops. No worries, no worries. I'm in the way. <laughs> no, I, I got, I got, I got the trap here. Want to use that little one? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. And we'll get the kind of. Oh, he's there. He's there. There you go. Yeah. Hooked up again over there. Nice one again. Oh yeah. Goody. Showing me how it's done, man. Jeez. He's just got the hot side is all. It's the chameleon. Oh, yeah. Double tail this Double time, tail. huh? The other one got chewed up. It's only good for five. <laughs> ourselves a vermilion. Nice. Vermilion? What do you call it? Yeah, there's vermilion. Yeah. Good eating there. Marcos, Marcos is on him. Finally on the board. Oh, wow. oh yeah, there you go. There's a big one. Might be a link card here, huh? It might be two. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh man, there he is. Yeah, look at that big. Yeah. Oh, he grabbed. Man, that's a monster. You know dude. What? Oh. He's Thank eating you. the other link cod. Remember, I told you that. <laughs> look, 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 he ate that one. That's what happened. That's what I was talking about. Nice. This is hot. Hey, this good fit. Yeah. Right. Hey. Grabbed onto the little guy and chased it up. I'm sure you guys that have fished Link Cotter have seen that before a couple times. So, yeah. That was cool. I learned that technique years ago. Yeah, we got our we got our we got our link cod. Here's another look at them. There they are. Got a vermilion in there. We got a copper hiding down there. Some nice link cod. Right on. Hey, that was awesome, man. Good job. Good job. You was in them, Marco. The one Jose got there was what we call a hitchhiker. They ride along. They grab onto smaller fish as you're reeling them up and. They hang on, clear up until you can grab a hold of them sometimes. Hold on. Yeah, just here, I'll grab a hold of them and then you can grab them. Okay, right there? Just like that, yep. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Just don't grab no red, just all, yeah. Okay. There he is. Not a nice one. Yeah. Buckethead. Tomar una foto de aquí, mira. De aquí por abajo. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Eso es más complicado. Hooked up already. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Give me a double up. Give me, give me a double up. Oh boy. Might have a double up here. Something's happening. Ah, <laughs> oh, link caught, of course. Come oh. on. Right to a snout. We got our limit of wings, so we don't need this guy. Just gonna let him go. Let him swim off. We're looking for a rockfish, so. Yeah, man. Well, that's it. Not much rockfish around right now. They're there, they're just not biting, as you can see. It's all rockfish, they're just not biting. That sounds like that's how it's been a little bit. You can go and sit here. Looks, sounds like that's how it's been for everybody. Some days they're biting, some days they're not. But we got a whole pile of blink cod in there with a few rockfish mixed in, which is good. But as you can see, we caught some couple nice link cod in there, about 15 to 20 pounds, 18 to 20 pounds probably. Got a blue cabbie. So we were in fish. It happened fast. We haven't been out here very long. Mike was nice enough, enough to invite us along. He's got a about a four-hour drive back home. So we're gonna head on in so he, he can get back with Jose and Marcos. And yeah, it was a good day. Good day of fishing. Thank you, Mike. You bet. Remember, you give uh, Mike or Big Salmon a call if you want to book a trip here with the assault charters. It's right here. The assault weapon. That's his charter boat. It's a beautiful boat, as you can see. I showed it earlier in the video. I've been fishing with him before, if you've been watching the channel. For a while, you've seen this boat, so yeah. Give us a call, man. Mike knows what he's doing out here. It was a good day. Thank you. I know, that's what I was showing. They're there. <laughs> They're just not biting. A lot of rockfish. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.